Um, so my name is Miguel Mendez and I'm the Public Interest Fellow at the Colorado Center on Law and Policy. And so I was hired on to support our affordable housing initiatives, but I'm also in the early stages of transitioning into a paralegal role. But we mostly serve Coloradans living in poverty and we help them gain access to different resources. And we also work in the legislature to or in the legislature to advance our policy initiatives in health and family economic security. Um, I want to say congratulations to all the new fellows as you're about to go and step into the into your your professional careers. Um, I'm honored to represent a group of amazing individuals that were all in your shoes just a year ago. Um, I hope that everyone is staying safe that all your families are well and that you're taking care of yourselves and accessing the resources that are needed during this time. Um, so today I'm actually wearing my I am my intramural championship t-shirt. Um, just wanted to as a little bit of a tribute to my boss while at CC. So this one's for you, Chris. Um, I'm the son of so let me start off by telling you a little bit about myself. Um, so I'm the son of two Mexican Im immigrants, and I was born and raised in Colorado. Um, but I'll tell you a little bit more on my family in a little bit. Um, so my PIFB experience began when I was in Georgia volunteering with the SPLC through a program developed by a CC professor. Uh, I went to Georgia for two weeks, and on the last Friday before we were set to come back to Colorado, I got a text from my brother saying that, saying he's gone. In my head, I had no idea what he was talking about, so I asked him who. And that's when my heart sank lower than it had ever gone before. Uh, my grandpa had just passed away. Before I left, my grandpa had just had a surgery done, and he was beginning his recovery before his condition worsened. I was set to start my PIP fellowship the following Monday, and I was supposed to do this with the weight of just losing one of the most influential people in my life. Uh, my grandpa was outspoken. Uh, he le always let his opinion be heard. He was thoughtful. Uh, he would watch a lot of news and do a lot of research. Um, and he was a genius in so many different ways. Uh, he was a musical genius and he loved playing the accordion. Uh, he was a political genius, and as I said, he watched a lot of news, and he, was, he definitely read up on the subject, and it helped develop or help you my interest in politics and kind of to get me where I am now. I mean, I don't say this to make you all feel down and to remorse with me, but I say this uh, to give an insight as to what actually drives me. I know I've been afforded certain privileges in my life, like I'm a U.S. citizen, I'm bilingual, uh, I grew up in a well-established school district that put me in a better position to apply and actually get into Colorado College. But I have my family to thank for a lot of these opportunities. There are people that look like me that, that don't have legal in this country, that don't have the same opportunities as I did growing up, and that don't have the same support systems that I had. The best way, the more that I realized, the more that I learned about the privilege that I had, the more I realized what my mission in life was. The best way I've been able to explain my life goal is by saying that I'm looking for ways to help the next me get achieve his goals in life. I made it to the place I am today because of the support I had behind me. My dad worked late hours in construction to support my immediate family. My mom would drive me to every soccer practice, every school function, and even play dates, if you can remember those. Um, I'm going through all the people that have supported me in my life, and I keep wanting to come back and talk more about my grandpa. I mean, he loved everyone here in Denver, and he had a whole community behind him in Mexico, where he's from. And you know, he made me, he made me a better person. And even though he's not here to see, my more recent accomplishments, I know that it's my purpose to pass on the love that he showed me and to extend that to my community and my world. And it goes back to my point about helping people achieve 
helping the next me get achieve their goals. One of the most important phrases I've heard since I've started working in the nonprofit sector is that the people don't work for you and that you work to serve the people. The nonprofit world exists to work for the populations that need that helping hand. It's on you to carry that mission and to extend that support to those around you to make your community a better and more equitable place for everyone. I hope that you got a sense of my grandpa's love and that you're able to channel those support systems into your future work. Thank you for listening and I'm so excited for you and for the next step in all your lives. Thank you.